Hello, I'm Wes Geary, the Chief Technical Officer at Momar, and I'm going to talk to you about all of our different spraying equipment. We have your standard quart bottle with a you know, standard Ergo trigger sprayer. We have a gallon jug uh, trigger sprayer, which is really handy. You want to carry around more than just a quart bottle. Uh, good for treating larger areas. Uh, we also have two gallon, three gallon pump up sprayers like this one here. Uh, we have a four gallon backpack sprayer with a manual pump. And then we have this, which is a five gallon electric backpack sprayer, which is great for treating even larger areas. Um, when you need to apply the product as a fog or a, or a fine mist, uh, we also carry fogging and misting equipment as well. And this is just one, this, these are just some of the different types of sprayers that we have. Regardless of the sprayer you choose, when applying a disinfectant, a uh, general rule of thumb is you can count on treating about 150 to 200 square feet with a gallon of the diluted solution. So Ready, Set, Go is already diluted. Uh, you can use, you can pretty much count on 150 to 200 square feet per gallon of Ready, Set, Go. If you're using Nutridis, our Nutridis dilutes at one ounce per gallon. So if you have a gallon of Nutridis, that's actually enough to treat 150 square feet times 128 ounces. So if you do the math, I'll pull out my calculator. That's 128 times 150. One gallon of Nutridis is enough to treat 1,900, or excuse me, 19,200 square feet. First mate concentrate's even more impressive. Uh, when used as a viricide, the dilution rate is one to 183. So 183 times 150, 27,450 square feet. If you're applying first mate concentrate as a disinfectant, the dilution rate is one ounce per 213 gallons. So that's 213 times 150. You can treat up to th almost 32,000 square feet. And if you apply first mate concentrate as a sanitizer, it's even higher. It's one ounce per five, 512 ounces. So 512 times 150 square feet per gallon, you can actually sanitize 76,800 square feet with just one gallon of first mate concentrate. So that's kind of how you do the math. Concentration matters. Um, pretty much any type of equipment that you use, you're gonna wanna apply it uh, when, you're, when you're doing it for sanitizing or disinfecting uh, so that you get the surface wet enough to stay wet for approximately 10 minutes. And in order to do that, you've gotta put on about 150 excuse me, a gallon for every 150 square feet. So that's a good way to do your estimations. Now let's go uh, show you how these different pieces of equipment work. So the first piece of equipment I wanna teach you how to use, this is the Hudson Electric Fogger Mister. And so it's got a two gallon tank on it. You fill it up with your used solution, your diluted solution. So if you're putting out First Mate as a disinfectant, it's one to 213. If you're putting out first mate as a viricide, it's one to 183. Or as a sanitizer, it's a one to 512. If you're fogging Nutridis, it is a one to 128 dilution rate. And if any of our ready to use products, there's no dilution necessary. So this is a really neat unit. Uh, it's got a nice strap so that you don't have to carry it around uh, with your hand. Um, it allows you to have you know, hands free. I don't have gloves on or or a dust mask or a respirator because for the demonstration purposes today, I'm just using water. Um, normally when you fog an area with disinfectant or sanitizer, what you're gonna to wanna to do first is wipe down or, 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 or treat all of the high contact spots like sink handles, refrigerator handles, you know, the buttons on a water cooler, doorknobs, things that people touch a lot, microwave buttons, all the buttons on the coach. And you wanna treat those in a conventional manner where you spray the disinfectant you wipe it down, give it a 10 minute contact time, and um, you know, do it uh, the, the standard conventional way. Fogging is a supplementary uh, application to help treat all those other areas that are just too time consuming to treat by the conventional methods. Uh, so whenever you're using a fogger or a mister, uh, the idea is not to just rely on that solely to do the job, but to use this as a uh, kind of a secondary supplemental type of application. So let's uh, let's try it out and show you how it works. This one has a, has a switch right here on the unit to turn it on. And once I turn it on, it's gonna be pretty loud. And you can make adjustments to the discharge rate, low, medium, and high, right here at the, at the handle. 
And again, normally you'd wear gloves uh, and, and you know, a dust mask or a respirator. You wanna make sure that the area is, um, any of the food contact surfaces in the area are covered. If there's plates, utensils, cups, things like that out. You wanna put those away. Um, and then you're ready to follow. So as you can see, I didn't aim the fogger directly at a surface um, because if you do that, you're going to oversaturate that surface and you're going to have a lot of runs. Uh, the idea is to hit it indirectly, let the current of the mist uh, carry the mist to the surfaces that you're treating. You still want to get them wet enough that if you look really closely here, you can see the droplets wet out and com you know, completely cover the surface. You don't want to get to the point where the drops are gathering and running off the surface. I'll show you that in a moment. But you don't, also don't want to get to the point where you've left most of the surfaces dry, all right? So if you take a look at this tabletop, for example, that's a good uh, example. It's wet enough to uh, you know, treat the whole surface, but it's not so wet that it's puddling. This is really important if there are any electronics uh, plugged in, you want to unplug those electronics. And uh, when treating around electronics, uh, even even once they're unplugged, you want to make sure that there's no puddling and that you give ample amount of time for the uh, moisture to dry entirely before you recharge them. Most labels, uh, if, you read the, if you read the labels, it'll walk you through all of the steps for fogging. It'll tell you what dilution rate, uh, what PPE to wear, how to cover food uh, and things of that nature, and food contact surfaces. After you fog, how long to let uh, the air conditioner cycle in order to remove any remaining mists that are in the air, uh, what the reentry rate is for that particular chemical. For some products it's as little as two hours, for some other products it may be longer. Uh, it will advise uh, you know, how to open up windows and, and allow for extra ventilation and things of that nature. After you fog, unless you're fogging with a food grade, food contact, no rinse sanitizer, uh, anything stronger than that and you're going to want to rinse all the food grade or food contact surfaces that you treated. So in this room, we, we removed all of the plates, cups, knives, uh, and dishes, and that sort of thing. Uh, but if we had left any out, we'd want to rinse those uh, really well uh, with potable water and then re-sanitize those with a proper uh, food grade sanitizer, food contact. This is the Solo 5 gallon electric backpack sprayer. It's got a lithium ion battery, and it is great for treating really large surface areas where you've got to sanitize or disinfect, such as the inside of refrigerated trucks and other types of transport trucks, perfect example. Today I'm just demonstrating it with water, so that's why I'm not wearing uh, any PPE. But if I were uh, applying a chemical, I would follow the SDS and wear gloves, respirator, whatever is required by that product. This backpack holds five gallons, so if you treat at a 150 gallon, or excuse me, 150 square feet per gallon rate, then this backpack can treat 750 square feet uh, to disinfect. Uh, and it's really simple to use. It's got an onboard pump, turns on automatically as soon as you squeeze the trigger. So you want to adjust the spray to a fan mist. Disinfect all the surfaces that you would normally use, normally treat with a trigger sprayer. This just does it in a fraction of the time. It has an onboard gauge. It also has a two-speed pump that you can adjust right here uh, for high or low. Uh, 